All right, so um, got a quick, uh, hopefully a quick short video um, for Turkey Thursday. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, try to remove this badge here and maybe attach it to here. I don't know if I've got the right kind of glue. Maybe I'll just use hot glue or something, I don't know. But basically get that off, put it on there. So let's get that out of the way. So the first thing that you gotta do is remove the heat shielding underneath. And it's pretty easy, I already uh, started on it. Um, basically what you need to do is just bend up these little um, uh, crosses here, just bend up the little flaps, um, and then they'll disengage from the little post that's under them. So um, then you can kind of just stick your hand under there so you don't bend it and uh, pop it off the rest of them. So I've got a couple that are still quite attached. So I'm gonna just stick a flat screwdriver under there and bend it up. Same with this one, bend it up. So let's see if that made a difference. There we go. And it's out. So yeah, just uh, basically bend those up. Try not to bend it, because I mean, it might be useful later, but we need to get rid of the heat shielding for the method that we're gonna be using to get this badge off. And so as you can see, there's no like screws or snaps or anything that's accessible from the bottom. So it looks like it's just held straight on with glue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a heat gun to heat up the bottom of it and hopefully get it to disengage. So let's, uh, Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Let me see how far my heat gun reaches. Oh, well, it reaches infinitely far if I don't have it plugged in. So let me get it plugged in. Okay, maybe, hmm, where to plug it in now? That's the question. Yeah, always whatever's supposed to be a short video is always end up being long because I've got to hunt for some paper clips or figure out how to plug in a heat uh, gun. So there we go. Found a plug. Ugh. Apparently that heat shielding is a little bit sharp. So yeah, just be careful about that. I didn't even notice I got cut. All right, let's leave it on there for a cool effect because I'm not a pussy. So we're gonna have some blood in our video to make it cool. Um, I'm going to turn on my heat gun and I'm going to set the temperature to as low as it can go. It's actually already blowing. So lowest it can go is 100. Oh, I'm getting blood all over my stuff. All right, whatever. All right, let's see if we can. God damn, that's not long enough. Hold on. I'll just set it on my lap there. All right, so I'm just going to go around in this circle. Um, I don't want to melt the plastic. I just want to get it hot enough that the glue will soften. So I'm actually going to turn up the fan speed. All right, fan speed's uh, three quarters of the way all the way up. So I'm just going to heat this at 100. I'm actually hoping that it just falls off. So I guess we'll see. And just keep it moving because you want to heat one spot um, for too long. But you want to get it all evenly heated. So we'll try 100 degrees for a while, make sure it's not doing any damage. And then uh, after we get everything up to temperature, we'll raise the temperature up to maybe 150 doing like 50 degree increments. All right, come on. Let's see what it feels like. It doesn't feel hot at all. I'm gonna go up and go to 150 right now, actually. Okay, it's at 150 now. And I'm just, uh, 
on the other side, I'm just kind of picking at it just to see if I can feel any kind of give or it wiggling or anything. I've heard you can also put this in the freezer and freeze the glue, but uh, I don't have enough room in my freezer, so we're gonna do it this way. Still feels as solid, solid as it ever has. feel the temperature raising on the other side, so it's definitely getting warm. Go for another minute like this and then raise the temperature to 200. And it doesn't feel like the, the side's getting soft at all, so that's good. So hopefully this is a quick video. Um, I guess it could end up bad if I start melting this bottom or this top case and you know get plastic all over my hands and start getting third degree burns. I guess that could make it kind of a longer video watching the ambulance come to save my hand because uh, I didn't use proper safety equipment. Somebody's banging upstairs and so you might hear some knocking on my video here but uh just ignore it. All right, come on. I think we should go up to 200. Yeah, it's still good. All right, 211. No, I'll just leave it there. I'm not gonna push it 11 times to go back down. So, approximately 200 degrees. Definitely always best idea to take it slow. Start from something way lower than you think you're gonna need and then test it for a while. Um, because if we would have started out at 500, we could have burned a hole right through this. So, yeah. One of those lessons I've learned from experience. I am not feeling any give so far, but I can definitely feel the top heating up. It's getting there, I think. So I'm not even sure this is the right way. Maybe we should have been heating the other side, but I didn't want to damage the badge because that's the part I want. And worst case scenario, I could just cut it out of here if I needed to, I guess. So I wanted to keep it in as good of condition as I could possibly keep it. I mean, it is pretty scratched. We'll see if we can do anything about that later, but um, I didn't want to do any extra damage to it. So I'm holding the tip about an inch to a half inch away. Definitely still don't feel any give to the badge itself. It's about time we raise the temperature, so I'm going to go up to 250. Well, 263 is what it went to, so that's what we'll keep it at. Still no give. Well, at least the banging stopped. That's always good. Got some peace and quiet while I relaxingly heat up this plastic. 
Another thing to keep in mind, and I don't think it'll be a problem at this temperature, but a lot of plastics as you heat them up give off uh, toxic fumes. So uh, it's probably a best idea if you're doing this to do it in a well-ventilated area just to uh, be on the safe side. But I smoke, so I don't really care. I'm already purposely in ingesting uh, toxic chemicals, so I think I'll be fine anyways. Looks like the plastic's getting a little shiny, so I think we're starting to affect the bottom plastic. I don't feel any give yet. Maybe we'll go for a second here and then we'll flip it over and see if we can uh, get it off with the screwdriver or perhaps a razor blade. Yeah, it feels pretty fucking hot on the other side. It's definitely something I couldn't touch longer than one, two, three, four. Well, now I'm getting used to it. But it's still pretty freaking hot. I feel like it's hot enough for any glue, so I'm not sure why it's still clinging on there. Let's try prying at it with a screwdriver and or a razor blade. I feel like I got under it. Let's see if we can get a screwdriver under it. Oh, I can hear it disengaging from the glue. Well, now that we got the screwdriver under it, let's keep the heat on it. All right, so I will just keep the heat on it and pry it. I kind of want to watch it come off. I did that on video. This plastic's getting hot enough to melt. I just barely touched it with the tip right there and it uh, melted. So let's, uh, I think we're good enough to where we can just straight pry it. Let's do that. Okay, let's stick it deeper under there. I definitely don't want to scratch that or crack it. Looks like I've done a little bit of damage around the edge a little bit already. That's some tough glue, that's for sure. I'm going to grab another something to stick under there so that I can keep prying around the edge. So I'm going to stick the back of these tweezers in there. really probably be using a plastic pry tool instead of a uh, metal screwdriver because then there'd be less scratching going on. Lift up. See if we can, oh there we go. And it's off. So yeah I did warp the uh, plastic a little bit, but um, not too bad. Okay, so now it's already hot and ready to be glued. Let's see, let's get the front. 
of the other case and we'll we will stick the badge in there and press it down hopefully that's straight because it ain't going nowhere now yeah i think once that glue cools back down it'll be pretty stuck on there like it was on the other one so yeah well that looks pretty damn good i'd have to say um like i said in the future videos with this xbox modding that i'm doing i am going to maybe put some lights underneath this see if we can get it to glow or at least illuminate around it i don't know i don't know we'll figure something out um yeah have a happy thanksgiving